Hey guys, welcome to the Hyperlink where we cover the latest Star Citizen news as they drop. We got another Evo Cardi build, this time Star Citizen Alpha 3.18 uh, E patch um, right now in Evo. And uh, we're going to go through the patch notes, at least uh, most of it. And uh, before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to all my channel members and Patreon. Um, also, just to let you guys know, we're still doing a giveaway for the Anvil Centurium. So if you still want to participate, you can make sure to click the link in the top right corner. You can find the link in the description down below. Also, 80% of y'all who continuously watch my content are not subscribed. So make sure you do as it will help me hit my goal of 20,000 subscribers by the end of this year. All right. So Star Citizen Alpha 3.18e has uh, the same the same testing focus. And um, as I said in, in the previous um, video before, it's it seems like it's progressing very well. And uh, the testing focus right now still remains uh, with physicalized uh, cargo refactor, salvage, hull scraping, um, platform assaults on Orison, security post career reactivation, career delivery missions, update sand, the update, the um, sand prison uh, activities, uh, sand caves, Daymar, Daymar crash site, Stanton racetrack location, Great Cap ETV racetrack, and New Rivers. Okay, so they also mentioned some known issues right now that is currently um, ongoing is the cargo and selling should be fully functional. It says here in the functional state um, that um, stay in in this build, and if you see any location that aren't working to trade and sell commodities like normal please issue console as much with as much detail and location okay so now right now they're testing commodities selling commodities so that is great so another known issue is cost the customer customizer seems like uh, people will get stuck in the saving um save customer on the front um and menu after the first time joining the pu um, for PES and Cortec, it says character not properly stowing after logout. Able to be observed while logged out, while logged in by other characters. All right, so it says multi-vehicle VMA vehicles. It says ship components, UI, um, unable to customize any ship within the vehicle loader manager. Um, in regards to load and the location, more than one player can load into a habitat at the... Um, habitat bed at the same time. So this is something we even see in 317 uh, uh, sometimes. Transit elevators um, and trams are jittery during transit on player character. Um, UI and vehicle HUD, it is possible for vehicle HUD to vanish for the player during flight and combat. Performance, third person camera, massive stutter when using the external view, which is your F4. Or submission content and location. A hostile AI is stuck inside of a wall at HMRA, and one of the hostile one of the hostile appears missing at the BWDG for bounty ass um, assignment Neo Guards in mission. And also inventory says loot boxes. Loot boxes will disappear on approach or after opening. Interesting. Okay, so some um, updates to some of the features it says this one is location which is ray track and time trial mission polish pass um, the increase the size of the checkpoint action area general lighting and set dressing polish for all race tracks update mission markup on both lorville outskirts and the snake pit to move starting point down in order to encase um, entire area so ground vehicles can compete so that's interesting they also did a polished pass on spk and in terms of gameplay it says um prison um, activity polish so updated the action area of the prison escape route to stop the objective from being triggered too early and updated the mission to fail on death of the player slightly reduced the reward for the repair oxygen kiosk mission Okay, so and then it, in regards to ships and vehicles, it says temporarily disable the soft death for the car to all in the railing ships. And when it comes to weapons and items, multi tool uh, salvage attachment damage polish, um, they did a pass on that. 
and the Cortex it says further Gen 12 rendering performance pass. So that is going to be great. The more they do that, the better performance we can expect from that. There is a uh, a bunch of bug fixes that they did, but I'm not going to go through that. And um, one of the key things that they want the Evo to focus on is definitely the cargo commodity trading. So they want people to try it and they even challenging them to try to destroy a full C2 of cargo over Lorville and see what happens. OK, so they're really trying to test this thing before they hit wave one. And um, yeah, so if there if you want to find out more about the full details on some of the things that they're testing Evo Cadi such as the stone bug harvestable if you're interested in something like that make sure to check out this video i'll see you there